Have you ever wondered what it would be like to travel at the speed of light? Let's embark on an exploration of this fascinating concept. Light speed as we understand it is roughly 299,792 kilometers per second. That's the maximum speed limit of the universe, according to our current understanding of physics. It's the fastest pace at which information and matter can move, an unyielding cosmic speed limit that gives structure to our reality. This speed remains a universal constant, unaltered by the observer's velocity or their point of reference. It's a concept that challenges our everyday perceptions, a testament to the enigmatic nature of our universe. Now, just for a moment, picture yourself able to traverse the vast cosmos at this unfathomable speed. Imagine being able to travel at such a speed. What could we possibly encounter? Picture this, a race between you and a spaceship and a beam of light. Imagine for a moment that you're strapped into your very own spaceship, ready to compete in the most thrilling race the universe has ever seen. Your competitor, a beam of light. The gun goes off. You punch the throttle, pushing your spaceship to its limits. But no matter how fast you go, how hard you press that accelerator, your competitor is always ahead. You see, it's not about your spaceship's horsepower or your piloting skills. It's about the fundamental laws that govern our universe. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, the speed of light is constant for all observers. This means that even as you're hurtling through space at mind-boggling speeds, that beam of light always seems to be moving away from you at exactly the same speed. It's as though the universe has set up a cosmic treadmill. You're running as fast as you can, but the scenery never changes. The light is always a step ahead no matter how much you accelerate. It's both exhilarating and frustrating like a high-speed chase where the pursuer can never quite catch the pursued. But why is this so? It all comes down to the fabric of space and time itself. As you move faster, time slows down. You're in a strange dance with the cosmos where speed and time intertwine in a complex ballet choreographed by the laws of physics. The constant speed of light isn't just a quirky fact, it's a cornerstone of our understanding of the universe. It shapes our comprehension of space, time, energy, and matter. It's the cosmic speed limit, set at around 300,000 kilometers per second, that nothing in this universe can surpass. Yet this doesn't mean we stop trying. After all, who doesn't love a good challenge? We continue to push our technological boundaries, dreaming of the day we might come close to attaining such incredible speeds. So it seems our spaceship can never quite catch up to the light. But remember, it's not the destination, but the journey that matters. And what a journey it is, racing at the very edge of what's possible, chasing after the speed of light. But what if you could travel at the speed of light? How would that affect time? This intriguing question opens up a world of mind-bending physics, a realm where time itself can stretch and shrink. Welcome to the concept of time dilation. Time dilation is an intriguing phenomenon predicted by Einstein's theory of relativity. It's the idea that time doesn't tick at the same rate everywhere in the universe. Instead, time can speed up or slow down, depending on how fast you're moving or how strong the gravitational field around you is. This isn't something we notice in our daily lives, but when we start talking about traveling at light speed, things get a bit weird. Imagine you're on a spaceship zooming through space at nearly the speed of light. Back on Earth, your family is having dinner. As they pass the potatoes and discuss their day, something strange is happening for you. Their seconds are stretching into your minutes their minutes, into your hours. This isn't because your clock is broken or there's something wrong with your perception. It's a fundamental effect of traveling at such extreme speeds. You see, the faster you go, the slower time moves for you relative to someone who is stationary. This is time dilation. Now let's push the thought experiment a bit further. What if you could actually reach the speed of light? According to relativity, time would stand still. That's right, if you could somehow reach this ultimate cosmic speed limit, time for you would stop altogether. From your perspective, you'd be frozen in time, a snapshot in a universe still bustling with activity. But remember, this is all theoretical. We can't actually reach the speed of light. It requires an infinite amount of energy, which we just don't have. But it's a fascinating concept to ponder, isn't it? In other words, if you could travel at light speed, you might become a time traveler of sorts. A quirk of light speed travel indeed, where the boundaries of time become as fluid as the cosmos itself. With our current understanding of physics, human light speed travel seems impossible. 
a brick wall of impossibility stands before us, erected by the very laws of physics we've come to understand. The speed of light, a staggering 186,000 miles per second, is a barrier that we, as humans, can't simply vault over. Firstly, we confront the daunting challenge of infinite energy. Einstein's theory of relativity tells us that as an object with mass accelerates towards the speed of light, its energy requirement grows exponentially, ultimately becoming infinite. The energy needed to propel a spacecraft to light speed is more than the total energy output of the sun in a year. We don't have that kind of power at our disposal. Then there's the destructive impact of interstellar dust and gas. At the speed of light, even a stray atom could pack the punch of a bomb, wreaking havoc on our spacecraft. The cosmos is not a perfectly empty void. It's littered with tiny particles that transform into deadly projectiles at light speed. But let's not surrender to despair just yet. In the realm of theoretical physics, there are glimmers of hope. The concept of a warp drive, for instance, proposes a workaround. Instead of accelerating a spaceship to light speed, we could theoretically warp the fabric of space-time around the ship, creating a bubble that allows the ship to ride a wave of space-time, effectively moving faster than light. This wouldn't violate any laws of physics, as the ship itself wouldn't be moving at light speed, it's space-time that's doing the heavy lifting. However, the warp drive remains a theory, a fascinating concept yet to be proven. It requires a form of energy or matter with negative density, something we've never observed, so while it's an intriguing idea, it's not a solution we can apply right now. While light speed travel remains a fascinating concept, it's a destination we've yet to reach. So, to sum up our light speed journey, we've traversed through the constant speed of light, a speed that no matter how fast we go, we can't quite catch up to. We've explored the mind-bending concept of time dilation, where time itself stretches and contracts as we approach light speed. And we've grappled with the seemingly insurmountable challenges of light speed travel while also glimpsing at the tantalizing potential solutions. Traveling at the speed of light remains a dream for now, but who knows what the future holds.